G'day viewers. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's about a man and his car. It's about my mate Rob and his girlfriend, his FJ45 Toyota Land Cruiser that he's owned for 37 years. Heavily, heavily customised. Pretty beat up as well. And it's also about the journey that Rob's going on. Now he's a fella who is dealing with cancer. He's going in for a big operation next week. And where is he a couple of days before his operation? Not sitting on his ass, not moping around. He's out in the bush with his mates, his brother and his son. Frickin' respect. Robert. And don't look at my flaggons. <laughs> flaggons? Oh, flaggons! Oh, flaggons! Right. Tell, tell me what holds in the back. What holds in the back? All right. You've got a fancy new fridge, I see that. Oh, well, yeah. I've got this one, 40 litre Ingle, just as a fridge. Good unit. And I've got a 21 litre inside the back as a freezer. Nice, for the okay, ice. So I've got a, a couple variety. Of, couple of drawers. Yeah. Uh, Portable table. Look at the size of that drawer. Shit. Portable uh, 1300. Because being a PC, I've got plenty of room. So, tools. Yep. Odds and ends. And as a table. The other side. Yeah. Barbecue. Bits and pieces. For cooking. And just for the viewers, how long have you owned the girlfriend? I did the homework the other day, I think 37 years. 37 years. 37 years, and that's, that's why I won't get rid of her. That's, that's more than I've been married, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting close to that too. <laughs> right. But yeah. You know, it's just... A lot of memories in this car. Oh, there's a humongous amount of memories and things that we've done, places we've been, steep yep. point with this in the early days. Yep, yep. You know, and uh, she was empty back in the early days. We just slept in the back. Well, she's a big car. Seats. Troopies are a freaking big car. You've got a lot, of, a lot of space for all your stuff. A lot of space. You know, now that I've got a caravan, I'll tow the caravan with this. Uh, we'll have to do another video on the caravan. You know, and I'll carry some stuff for the caravan in, in this as well. But, yeah. No, she's a ripper. Won't get rid of her. Tell us about this ongoing project. <laughs> ongoing project. It's probably two years it's been ongoing. This is my template for putting a gold door. Uh, I've cut out the aluminium. I've got the struts. You know. So what do you reckon by 2032? Yeah, I might have it done, you know. But, uh, hey, you know, it's one of those things that works, you know. Look at that. Hey, it matches the old girl. There it matches go. me being the old boy. There you go. It drives it, you know. So, yeah. See, this is my, this is my uh, strut for I like the time how being. You... Right? <laughs> my, my peg. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I'll I get like out of the your, rain. I like how your templates even got the proper latches and the hinges and everything installed. <laughs> Looks pretty fucking permanent to me, mate. <laughs> Template. Template. What do you got under there, old mate? Water. Show me. Oh, do you want me to show you and I'll pee in it? No. <laughs> Water. Levels. Levels. Yeah, I know. Erase it. No? Checking uh, the levels. It's on the piss. It's leaning that way. Okay. Hey Rob, what's with the um, Mad Max hood scoop on the old FJ, mate? 
Oh, that's off me HR that I used to have back in the early days. HR? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have that bonus scoop on the HR. Like like so is there a straight six uh, Toyota motor under there, mate? What's under the hood? Uh, a six plus two. Six plus two. Six Open plus up, two. Let's have a look. All right. Easy done. Let's go. Bear with me. This is old style opening. All right. And up we go. Six plus two, as I said. So that, looks, that does not look like a Toyota motor to me, mate. Oh, boy, missing a few letters, but um, yeah, it's a Holden uh, 304 fuel injected. All right. What's that out of a V? This one's a VT Series 1, the last of them, right. with the uh, roller cam in it. There you go. No, so it's that's a, why it's it sounds a, so bloody good driving up here. It's a, it's a bloody good strong motor. You know? As you see, I, I use it. I don't pamper it, but I do look after it. That's the you know, I check everything on it all the time, and she's never let me down. You look after the old girl, the old girl yeah. look after you. Yeah, you know, that's it, you know. Yeah, oh, look, I could keep it tidier, you know, but I use the old girl, and that's what it's all about, having fun and using it. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Hasn't let me down. So as I mentioned before, um, some people, when they're dealing with shit in their life, get all fucking mopey and they uh, drop their head. Rob over here is dealing with cancer and he's got a few things to say about it for some and hopefully share some lessons that a lot of other men out there can, can take stock. Go for it, Rob. Oh, where do I start? You know, but guys, get checked. Get checked, you know, 50 onwards, maybe even earlier, you know, but the general they say 50 onwards, get checked because it's not nice, you know, mentally. It's not good for you, you know, and um, you got to be strong to survive. Right? Well, mate, for what it's worth, I've known you a long time and, and you've always been a fucking, you know, upbeat sort of fella and the mm. way you're handling this is inspirational to me and a lot of other blokes. Yes, look... Um, we're all individuals, but at the end of the day, you, you've got to forget out the bullshit in life, right, and focus on yourself. Focus is the key word, on yourself, right. And once you focus, strong mind, strong body, strong body, strong mind, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but stay focused is the key. Mate, so you've got an operation in a few days' time. What made you want to come out to the bush with your with your brother and your mates and your son? Well, look, this is my second operation. I had the first one three weeks ago, and uh, for bowel cancer. And now I've got cancer of the liver, uh, so I've got to go through it next week. And look, because I'm feeling good, I'm feeling strong. I just needed to get away from four walls, you know, just to. Get some fresh air, be with good mates, have a laugh. Not getting smashed because I've got to be careful, you know, but I can still have a drink and just enjoy life, you know. Just um, clear your head. Clear your head so you're free. So for uh, anyone watching this video, any of the blokes, any dads out there, you heard what Rob said, take care of yourselves for the sake of yourself one. and for the sake yeah. of your family. Enjoy life, live life. And don't sit on your ass. You're always going to get things that knock you on your ass. Get up and fight it. And and Rob's an inspiration to all yeah, of us. So definitely. thank you, Rob. No, you're welcome. Welcome. All you guys out there, mate, just stay strong, focus. Yeah, you know, think about the present, not the past or the future. All right? Just stay positive. Going handsome. All right, I'm happy. You with your boys? Yeah, I'm with my boys. All right, I'm with my boys. That's for sure. <laughs> Love you, Brian. All right. How's the coffee, John? Yeah, good. Yeah, how's your bicky? Nice, mate. There you going there, Robert? Yeah. <laughs> good morning. What does it say on the front of your cup? Oh, Rob. Just Rob. Oh, Rob. What, what else, eh? Hey? Hey, what a family boy for your birthday or something. Hey? Something's got a stupid name in it. 
So viewers, if you found this video informative, a little bit entertaining maybe, um, if you know fellas doing a hard time that could use a bit of inspiration, please share this video with them. Be there for them. Um, it's so good just to be with mates, to help each other out, you know. Um, everyone does it tough from time to time and I reckon men just need other men. I think um, many generations ago, we used to be there for each other. We used to be sitting around a campfire, figuring out how to help each other, how to take care of our families. We've lost that. I reckon we need to go back to some of those basics. Please like and subscribe if you like the kind of content that I'm putting out there. Uh, I'm just starting the channel and I could really use your support. Um, again, this is for men. This, this channel is for men where we can help each other, learn from each other. Anyway, viewers, hopefully you found this video about Rob and the girlfriend inspirational. Um, he's a good man. And uh, we're going to be doing many, many more camps together. And uh, you'll be seeing the girlfriend out on the tracks with me and my and my camping buddies. So take care. This is this is Boz at Toys for Dad. Out.